microwave didn't work. The drawer is falling apart. Everything in the damn apartment falling apart. There's two maintenance men that's there. And that's it. But it's not a huge complex. All they need is two maintenance men. You know what I'm saying? So, the two maintenance men there. Laziest maintenance men I've ever ran into in my life. Going up to them, asking them to, to fix something in the apartment. It's almost like drawers in the kitchen falling off. Microwave won't work. No, bruh. Half of the plugs in the apartment don't work. Half the plugs in the apartment don't work, bruh. Today is the day. I don't give a fuck I, anymore. I, I was okay? set back on my mission. I didn't follow intuition. Back then I didn't wanna listen. But now I'm gunning for redemption. I want redemption. I want it. I got it. I want redemption. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host. And I'm not gonna lie. First of all, it is 11.39 currently. And I've had an epiphany. Now, months ago, maybe last year, uh, the YouTube friends that I have, that uh, have around the same numbers as me, you know, were on some like, I don't wanna do reaction videos anymore. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, shit, why? So they was telling me why, whatever, whatever. And, you know, the same thing that these big YouTubers do is the same thing that we can do. You know what I'm saying? But it's just a lot more judgment, I guess. But now, today is the day. I don't give a fuck anymore, okay? So, um... First of all, it's not that I'm going to stop reactions because I'm not going to stop them solely. But that's not going to be my main focus anymore. Fuck that. <laughs> I'm, I'm too damn dope to continuously attempt to put out uh, reaction videos and YouTube won't even let me. It's almost like a sign from God. Like, bro, you you going to chew a meal, dude. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you right now, you know, reactions is all right, but I ain't going to let you get paid for it. <laughs> I ain't gonna, you know what I'm saying? Nothing. God, like, no. So, you know what I'm saying? You know, for the people who uh, keep having, you know what I'm saying, little things to say, it's just like, you don't even, you wouldn't even be able to walk in my shoes, man. You wouldn't even be able to walk in my shoes, baby. So, today is the day. I don't give a fuck anymore. You know what I'm saying? I woke up like this. I woke up like this, facts. <clears throat> so anyway, what I'm about to do is go to the apartment complex that I'm about to move into. And we're going to go on a tour. Because we didn't go on a tour when I went to this apartment complex. It wasn't no tour. Me and the girl got to talking. She going through some things with her husband. and the, You know what I'm saying? Got a little, you know, something going on. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? And we never looked at the apartment. She has a two-bedroom. I'm getting a one-bedroom. But I... <laughs> We about to do this house tour today. You get what I'm saying? So, um, y'all enjoyed this video, man. And I'm thinking about riding by the lake. You know what I'm saying? Go throw some rocks or something. Say a prayer or two. Probably drink a beer. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, that's what we going to do. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. To the people that's going to continue to rock with the kid, please continue to rock with the kid, bro. You know what I'm saying? And to the people <clears throat> that don't want to rock with me, the door. The door, baby. That's where I'm at. I only wanted to do YouTube for people that rock with me anyway. You know what I'm saying? That's why I don't have fans. I call y'all family members. And if you you go against the family for for a change or, or for, you know, nothing, I mean, you never really belong. You know what I'm saying? And it is what it is. People flipping on me left to right. But that's fine. It's a new day today. It's a new day today, baby. I love y'all, man. Enjoy the video. Alright y'all, so I'm finally here at the apartment that I'm moving into. But like I said, I want them to take me on a tour because they ain't take me on a tour the other day. So I need my tour. Oh, thank God the name ain't all over the fucking complex. That's something I hate about the complex I'm in. The name is everywhere. But yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> I'm so happy it's crazy. 
touching my feet. Uh, yeah. Great. Okay. Um, so through here is our resident lounge area. Nice. Yeah, so I'm sure Tori probably told you last time you came, everything in here is open 24 hours, accessible 24 hours. I have a little coffee bar, some computers, TV lounge area. Okay. Um, and then we have our fitness center with the yoga studio and the private game room up there. These are just open hours. Do y'all have, um, so I'll get one of those? Yeah, every resident gets a key fob whenever they move in. Um, so you just let yourself into any of the amenities anytime. Okay. Yeah, and of course there's like Wi Fi in here and nice view of the Can board. you cut those TVs on, like the sound? Yeah, yeah, they're just all on mute right now, but if there's um, remotes around, so oh, okay. you can, yeah, you can like change channels and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then coming out this way, we have parcel pending package lockers. Have you ever heard of anything like this before? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, awesome. I so, haven't met mine, but they they too small. They're too small? Yeah. They don't have different sizes? They got a big size, but they were like, if somebody take your package, pretty much it ain't on them. It's, oh, that's why I'm getting out of that girl. You, you don't oh, even understand. No. Do you live around here now? No, I stay uh, around. Oh, okay. How long have you been over there? Like two years. Oh, okay. But it's just time to move on. Time to go. Yeah, I got it. It is time to go. Yeah. Um, so yeah, coming towards the pool area, we have these two grills out here and they are gas grills. So you don't have to bring charcoal or anything to use them. They're ready to go. Yes, I love this pool. Oh, a lizard. They're everywhere around <laughs> here. Know. They're everywhere. <laughs> it's probably kind of weird. So I live here. I live here too. You like and it? Yeah, I really like it here. Okay. Um, there are lizards everywhere all the time. That's it's crazy. terrible. And it's like you'll never see a snake, you'll never see a raccoon, but you'll see approximately 300. Lizards. I'd rather see 700 lizards than a <laughs> snake. Yeah, there's like a lizard army around here. Um, so yeah, we have a really nice saltwater pool, a couple poolside amenities. We have our little cabana area here with some couches and a TV, and then we have our fire pit. Um, I think the best part is the cabana and the fire pit actually stay open year round. Uh -huh. So even if you know you want to come out here when the pool is closed in the fall or winter, those are always really nice. Teams. How you cut the fire pit on? There's like a little dial on there to cut the gas on. Okay. Um, and it's on a timer, so it'll just shut itself off. Okay. Um, and so, in addition to all the stuff you just saw, we also have um, garages, we have storage units, we have a uh, car wash, we have electric car charging station. Yes, car wash. Electric what? Electric car charging station. Oh yeah. So yeah, if you happen to be an electric car owner, you can charge I'm not. Car here. <laughs> but if I ever become one. <laughs> if you ever decide to get a Tesla. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, well, we'll check it out. So um, this is, of course, the two bedroom. This is different as far as like the space from uh -huh. what you're going into, um, but the finishes are the same. So, so like, finishes as far as like the kitchen counters. Yeah, like and the look of everything, like the um, fixtures, like the countertops, the cabinets, the flooring, um, the appliances, all that kind of stuff is the same. So um, would the kitchen look like this? Yeah, it's very similar. So you're going into 2105, that's an A1A. That's actually the same floor plan that I'm in. So I'll just kind of give you the rundown on what I've noticed, you know, being someone that lives in one are the main differences. Okay. So the kitchen is actually very similar between this one and the A1A. Mm -hmm. so the biggest difference is that the laundry room and this built-in pantry are not there. Okay. Right? So this is just a wall, a flat wall, okay. which on the other side of the wall is your bathroom. Okay. So as far as like the L shape to the countertop, you still get that. You still get the little bar. Um, you're going to have the granite countertops with the um, basin sink and mm -hmm. the chef inspired faucet. Okay. Um, you're going to have like the espresso cabinetry, the lighting. Um, but this from like there around is how much storage you will have. So um, I think it's a pretty adequate amount. Is it just you in the apartment? Just me. Yeah, okay. So for one person, I think it's really adequate as okay. far as storage goes. Um, so that's what you'd be getting. And then the living room is a little bit smaller than this uh, width-wise. So it's just a little slimmer. Mm -hmm. It's about the same length. Um, but instead of obviously having this doorway here, you won't have a second bedroom. So it'll just be a wall. Right. So um, this is what the bedroom and stuff will look yeah, like. Yeah, the bed oh, and okay. bath are like kind of on the back side of the apartment. When okay. you walk in, you walk in on the dining room, kitchen, and then the living room. Okay. And then where that sunroom is, is actually where your patio will be. Okay, so I'm getting a patio, You're not a sunroom. You're getting a balcony instead of a sunroom. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. So basically, it'll have like um, your patio door and then one window on one side of the patio door and one window on the other side of the patio door. Mm -hmm. You just open the door, step out, you're on your balcony. Great. Yeah. Um, and then you go like down the hallway like this mm -hmm. and you have your bedroom off to the right side like how it is here. And the closet will look, the closet will be over here? 
Yes, absolutely. Nice. So um, that closet is bigger. Is a little well, no. I mean, it to me, it looks to be about the same size as the one in the A1A. Mm -hmm. You do get all that shelving pre-installed. The shoe rack in the corner, or I mean, whatever you want to use it for, okay. um, is really helpful as far as organization. All mm -hmm. the bedrooms come with an overhead light and ceiling fan. Thank God. Right? I, I never get an apartment with a ceiling fan. It's honestly shocking to me that in 2019 <laughs> there are still apartments that don't have so real. installed lighting or and lights. Fans. It's a conspiracy. Yeah. I don't know. Facts. But um, <laughs> yeah, so the bedroom is definitely a little bigger than this one um, as far as width. So I'll tell you, like, you can fit up to a king size bed in that room comfortably, of course, depending on what other furniture you have. Mm -hmm. um, but it's a pretty spacious room. Okay. So hopefully you'll be able to fit your furniture. But if you're concerned about it, like if you, if you have larger furniture, yeah. I can give you a rendering of the floor plan with measurements. Okay. Um, but anyway, I have a king size bed. You what? I have a king size bed, but like the dresses that I have, I'm getting rid of them. I don't want Okay, gotcha. <laughs> What's up, y'all? She girl needs you to host in today. I'm here with a mukbang, something that people hate for me to do. Oh, I don't want you to eat. I don't want you to sleep. I don't want you to do Guess what? If you don't want to hear me eat, get off this video. I'm trying to eat. This is the, today is the day I become a real YouTuber, bro. So on this vlog, I'm gonna talk about my old apartment complex and why I'm moving. <clears throat> so first of all, I ain't gonna tell y'all what the complex name is. I'm gonna just tell you what I was going through in the apartment. I've been staying in this apartment complex for the past like two years. <clears throat> it made a deal wanted more space when we moved out. So, you know, I told her I'd get a two bedroom or whatever. I get the two bedroom. We got the model apartment. So, for some reason they sold the model apartment. I don't know why, but they sold it. So, we wanted the model apartment because we like the way it looked. So, two bedroom. The two bedroom was supposedly supposed to be like a thousand $95 or something, so what? Let's go 1100 So I'm like, that's not bad. So when we move in, our microwave didn't work. The drawers falling apart. Everything in the damn apartment falling apart. There's two maintenance men that's there, and that's it. But it's not a huge complex. All they need is two maintenance men, you know what I'm saying? So, the two maintenance men there, Laziest maintenance man I've ever ran into in my life. Going up to them, asking them to, to fix something in the apartment. It's almost like pulling teeth. Like, they won't do nothing, bruh. Drawers in the kitchen falling off. Microwave won't work. No, bruh. Half of the plugs in the apartment don't work. Half the plugs in the apartment don't work, bruh. So they buff the floors before you move in. You know, you don't want to scratch up the floor because it look crazy. They had to replace our refrigerator last minute. So they go scraping the refrigerator across the floor in the apartment. So got two big ass scratches on the wooden floor that they probably gonna charge us for. The door on the, um, the door on the, um, where the wash and dryer is supposed to go, it's broke. They done came back to fix the shower curtain rail. I mean, not the shower curtain rail, like where you put the towel on about five times. It won't stay up. And half the plugs in the apartment don't work. When I tell you, I absolutely despise this apartment. Can't stand it. So, ain't no like, they have a, um like what you call this, a lounge? They have like a little lounge or whatever, but it's right beside the, um, like their office. So, ain't no privacy or nothing. You can hear everything going on in there. And considering I do YouTube, I can't sit in there while y'all talking and me do my videos. So, I decided I got to move. 
Now, as y'all know, Judea wanted to stay with her dad via her choice. She wanted to go stay with Pops. And I just was going to keep the apartment. But I'm out of there. <laughs> um, so, breaking the lease and going into, well, coming here, which is a nice ass apartment complex. Got two big Apple computers in front of me right now. I'm excited about that. Nice pool. Well, y'all see on the house tour. And um, that's the reason why I'm moving, you know what I'm saying? But definitely on my YouTuber grind, you know what I'm saying? So on this channel, I want to do more videos like a regular YouTuber. You know? Um, like I said, I'm still gonna do reactions. I just wanna react to more stuff. React to more stuff that's that's lit, that's worth a reaction, you know what I'm saying? I did, what, YouTube drama for like two years. When I tell you I'm over YouTube drama, I'm big, big over YouTube drama. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even on that type of time no more. I gotta get into the real world and what's really going on out here. And I now understand that. So, y'all start spamming me with stuff y'all want me to react to and we will get her done. It gotta be some juicy shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna react to today. But you know, that apartment really, really, really Certain things cause stress, and when, you, when you're when going through stress, you can't concentrate, you know what I'm saying? And I'd rather be able to concentrate in an area that I like versus an area I don't, you know what I'm saying? And I really, really like this area. I can't wait till y'all see the apartment. I can't wait. I want new furniture, I want to get rid of this furniture I got, you know what I'm saying? And um, just, you know, start fresh, have a fresh start. Nothing wrong with revamping, you know? But yeah, I love y'all, appreciate y'all, man. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Uh, house tour coming soon, empty house tour, rather. Sooner than later, yeah, we on to the next video. Are you looking to get your shirt printed by Nick G, the host? And not only get your shirt printed, get the fattest, the best, the baddest logo in the world, and that's royalty apparel. And you can get it from me. Yes, me. I do everything. I print out the logo. I cut the logo. I pick the logo. I also make sure it's measured right so it won't be crooked on your shirt. Then I press it down. Okay, one, two, three. Pop open. Then you got the best logo out in the world, okay? And I gotta make sure that it's on correctly. Not only that, I gotta ship it. So I make sure it's on there, heat and press right. Then I make sure it's folded right. Package it right. Okay, okay. Then you gotta close it so it can get to you on time. You know what I'm saying? Then I put my P.O. box on a paper and I send it to your door. Let me know if you want your shirt printed. Go visit royaltiesworld.bigcartel.com and go get your shirt today. Peace out.